Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Sample Size in Reliability, Part 2 In case viewers are not familiar with Bible distribution, we strongly recommend that you watch our videos on Bible and Chi-Square distribution before watching this video. Links are provided in the description of the video. In part 1 of this video on sample size, we have explained procedure to find sample size for one-shot devices using success run theorem and our templates. We have demonstrated use of these two formulae in part 1. Now we will see another method to determine sample size in reliability testing. This is called Weibase approach. This method assumes variable distribution with known shape parameter beta. Let us define capital T as the test length, small t is the time at which the reliability is to be determined. For example, the end of warranty period. Then bogey ratio k equals test length capital T upon small t. Remember the term bogey ratio. Then the sample size n is given by minus in the numerator chi square 1 minus confidence level at 2 degrees of freedom. In the denominator 2 into k raised to beta and natural logarithm ln of reliability the lower limit of reliability are lower at time t. For a given value of beta, the sample size n decreases as the bogey ratio increases. Typical beta for wear out modes is likely to be between 2 and 4, but it could exceed these values as well. Let us look at an application example. What sample size is required to demonstrate reliability of 99% at confidence level of 90% at 1500 hours for a computer hard disk drive? The test length is 7500 hours. Assume variable shape parameter beta equals 2.5. In the example, test length capital T equals 7500. Time at which we want a reliability that is small t equals 1500. Therefore, the bogey ratio k is 5. Now, we have seen the formula for sample size n. So, n equals minus chi square of 1 minus confidence level is 0.1 because confidence level is 90% and degrees of freedom is 2. So, numerator is chi square 0.1 at 2 degrees of freedom divided by 2 into k is 5 bogey ratio raised to the power beta is 2.5 and ln of lower bound of the reliability and the reliability is specified as 0.99 so ln of 0.99 so let us find out value of chi square distribution from the tables You can download the chi-square distribution and other distribution tables from our website www.world-class-quality.com and go to the downloads section to download all these tables. You also have uh, distribution tables over there. So the chi-square distribution table is shown here. As you can see for 2 degrees of freedom and alpha is equal to 0.1 that is 90% confidence level, the value of chi-square distribution is 4.605. So we substitute this chi-square value in the equation and we can see that n equals 4.098 or we can round it off to 5. You can also use template from Institute of Quality and Reliability. We will show you how to download and use this template. This is the website of Institute of Quality and Reliability www.world-class-quality.com You can see many links about us and courses, training calendar, certification, etc. So you can click on the downloads which is in the upper part of the website. So click on the downloads 
and you will see many links including various distribution uh, tables and templates so click on the templates which is probably somewhere on the lower side of the list so look at the link to reliability templates and download in the downloaded template you can see many worksheets choose the worksheet way base we have seen the success run theorem in the previous video now choose the way base and choose the sample size calculation and you can input the data as given in the problem with beta shape parameter 2.5 confidence level 90% reliability 99% reliability to be demonstrated at time 1500 test length of 7500 and then you will see the sample size of 5 now try this exercise what sample size is required to demonstrate reliability of 99% at confidence level of 80% at 200 hours for a mechanical valve without any failure the test length is 300 hours assume viable shape parameter as beta equals 3.5 try this exercise using basic formula as well as using template we can also calculate test duration with bible distribution if we know the shape parameter for a failure mode we can use this information for test planning for zero failures so the formula will be t equals t upon minus ln of reliability that we want to demonstrate raised to the power 1 upon beta into another bracket minus ln 1 minus confidence level upon sample size n whole bracket raised to the power of 1 upon beta let us see an example of finding out test duration when sample size and beta values are given what is the test duration for a sample of 20 units to demonstrate reliability of 0.99 for 200 hours operation at confidence level of 0.8 or 80 percent assuming no failures shape parameter is 3.5 so let us look at the formula that was given earlier and if we substitute these values in the formula we get time equal to 362 hours so the sample size was 20 so all 20 samples need, need to be tested for 362 hours without any failures to demonstrate reliability of 0.99 Now you could also use the other part of the template which shows the test length calculation. So you can enter the values of shape parameter beta as 3.5, confidence level C as 80%, reliability RC that is minimum reliability 99%, time T as 200 and the sample size which is the lowest cell enter 20 there to see the test length as 362 let us see another application example an automobile company has gathered data of viable shape parameters of dc wiper motors data of five models of wiper motors is shown in the table below the wiper motor is expected to demonstrate a reliability of 0.95 with 90 percent confidence level for 1.5 million cycles if there are eight test stands what should be the test duration for no failures here is a table for the shape parameter values of the five models lower the beta longer will be the test duration thus we choose lowest beta value from all models this is 7.04 we will use template to estimate the test duration of 1.916 million cycles as shown here Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Statistical Quality Control. Click on the subscribe and bell icon to get notified for future videos.